InterSystems object script includes many built-in system functions that can be invoked within the command line, allowing you to easily work with data. System functions in object script, such as $length, begin with a dollar sign prefix. Functions perform a variety of operations on arguments that they take in. Operations include manipulating strings, building list or bit strings, executing class methods, and validating values. Following the function name, you will supply arguments in parentheses. The function then returns a value, which is the result of the operation. In most cases, the return value of a function is supplied to a command or to another function. A common example is supplying the returned value of a function as an argument for the write command. To see this in action, let's take a closer look at the $length function. This function has one required argument, the expression, which is the target string. The arguments will vary according to the function you're using. Let's try running the function $length with the argument how long is the string in parentheses, and we'll supply the value returned by this function to the write command. Running write dollar length open parentheses double quote how long is the string double quote close parentheses, we can see that the length of the string is 24 characters. It's also important to note that functions can take one or more arguments. In our example, the string how long is the string is the only argument required for the dollar length function. However, other functions take multiple arguments, which should be separated by commas. The dollar piece function, for example, identifies substrings by the presence of a delimiter. If we want to get the first word of our string, the function needs three arguments. Let's run the command dollar piece and supply three arguments: our string, the delimiter, which in this case is a space, and the position of the substring to extract. One. When the substring is returned, it is then supplied to the write command, and we can see that the first word is extracted. How? It's also possible to use the return value of a function in another function. Say we want to know the length of the word we just extracted. To get this result, we can supply the dollar piece function that we just ran as an argument for dollar length and write the result. We get the value 3, which indicates that the length of the first word in the string is 3 characters. The dollar piece function can also be used to replace a substring. The functions we have run so far did not change the arguments but some functions can do so when they are run with the set command. First, let's set the following variable. Sentence equals how long is this string? Then we can run the following command. Set dollar piece equal to video. The three arguments for dollar piece are sentence, which is the variable holding our string, the delimiter, and the position of the substring we want to replace. Next, we'll write the variable sentence. What we've done is replace the fifth substring in the sentence, string, with the string we supplied, video. There are many system functions, such as $piece, which can be used in two different ways. The way they are used will determine whether the function changes the arguments. So far, we have looked at examples of string functions. Other types of functions in object script allow you to perform actions like building more complex variables. The $listBuild function, for example, is used to build a list variable comprised of any items that are supplied. Let's set a few variables to hold the details of an order. We'll set order date equals June 15, 2022, amount equals 25, and status equals in process. Now that we have set these variables, we can supply them as arguments to the dollar list build function to create a list variable that includes all three. In this case, we will use the set command to set a variable equal to the returned value of the dollar list build function. To create the list variable, you run set order equals dollar list build in parentheses order date amount status. Next, write order to verify the list was successfully built. To write a list variable, use the zwrite command. You can see that our list contains the three items we set, the order date, the amount, and the status. We can easily update an item in the list variable using the dollar list function, and then run the zwrite order again. Now that you know how to properly format and run system functions in object script, you can visit the object script reference in InterSystems documentation to learn about all the available functions.